Hello, welcome to LEV Toys. We have got the Lego Friends Amusement Park bumper car set to build today. Yay! This is one of the new summer 2016 sets. We've already built the roller coaster and the Ferris wheel and the drop tower. So we're gonna add the bumper cars and the shaker to our Heart Lake Amusement Park. It's gonna be so much fun. We gotta build it first though. So we got three bags. So this should be a good build. This should be just the right size. We won't get too bored, I think. There's a lot to see in this set, including Olivia, who is wearing sensible closed in sneakers or shoes for her day at the amusement park. And she has got a brand new top on for this set. This is the cutest little halter neck with the watermelon seed patterns on it. That's really very festive and fun fair amusement park-ish. It's really cute. I like it a lot. She's got her normal hair. So she's ready, she's all dressed. No accessories for Olivia in this set, which is fine, because there are lots of things that she's gonna be doing. She doesn't want her hands cluttered up by holding stuff. Now the set also comes with a boy Lego friends, which is great. We've got Ben, and Ben is wearing the same top as we just saw last week when I built uh, Noah in the new performance school set as well. But he's got blonde hair, he's got blue eyes. Maybe there was a sale on these sweatshirts at Heart Lake Mall last summer, so the boys are all wearing the latest style. <laughs> Maybe. Well, Noah and Ben do seem to be, but these two are ready for the amusement park, so we better move them over here and we will start building the first part of this set, which is a food cart. Of course you need something scrummy to eat if you are going to an amusement park, something that's not particularly healthy, but lots of fun. So let's see what this little cart is going to contain, shall we? So there are hooks on the side, it's a little circle part here. It's nice and simple. Got wheels on so you can move it from one part of the amusement park to another. Move it around where all of the people are gathering, try and sell something. And a big metal bowl, five cent piece, and a flag at the top so that we can put the sticker on, we can find out what it's selling. It is a cotton candy stall or a cart, a cotton candy cart. Can't really say that. Do you know here in Australia, we call cotton candy fairy floss. What do you call it in your country? Fairy floss or cotton candy or something completely different? Whatever it is, it is still spun sugar and it is still delicious. So you twirl the stick around here and the hot sugar gets spun out into little webs and it swirls around the stick and, well, I just dropped that one. <laughs> so that one's got some added dirt on it. We'll put a discount on that one. Let's try the next one. We're gonna swirl it around. And that one's a white one. Must have put some different color sugar in this time. And we've got one more stick, so let's make one more. Here we go, round and round and round. And ah, a pink one. <laughs> Beautiful. Would you like this one, Olivia? Don't fall over with excitement. It will be all right. Look at that spun sugar on a stick. There is nothing more tasty than that. I love it. Are you gonna share it with Ben? And while you're eating your cotton candy, we'll start the next part of the build. Now, what do you think? I think they're starting to take good shape as stairs here. Quite substantial stairs, actually. Now, what are they going to be leading up to? There's a little seat and a little box and we're making a little booth here. So I think that this is going to be some lights on either side so you don't fall off the edges. You can see where the edges are. A little, maybe a little ticket booth for one of the rides and you have to step up into it. Well, that's a bit tricky. So if we send uh, Ben, <laughs> if we send Ben back here, he can sit on the seat up. Oh, there's no back on it. So just be careful, Ben. We might stick you on the front step while we build the next part of our booth. There's a music controller and our first sticker, which is, ah, oh, these are the controls for the bumper cars. So it is definitely the bumper car booth, the ticket booth, and it's the control booth as well. And here's the window, that's cool, with a little flip out, <laughs> with a little flip out window, so you can see, see out what's going on in the bumper car ride. You can yell at the people who are doing the wrong thing. Oi, sit down, sit down in the bumper car. Right, you're off. And things like that. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, so let me see. We've got some very, very shiny lights on the outside, a couple of little arches. The roof is on, and poor old Ben, he's just fallen out again. Here is one of the tickets, or the tokens, and a hundred dollar note. This is an expensive ride, or maybe we're just buying lots and lots of rides. 
nice striped awning over the front of the booth. And there. And we need one more thing to go right on the top. It's a megaphone. And of course we need our sign to let us know that this is the bumper car ride. So this is where you come to get your bumper car ride tickets. They go, bumper car ride, let's go buy this is here. Is that what it sounds like when it comes out of the megaphone? Kind of like when you're at an airport, you can't understand what they're saying over the announcement speakers. <laughs> well, I suppose it might be. All right, we are building the first of the bumper cars. This is cute. So two little nice round shiny seats in there to make it nice and I don't know, slippery? <laughs> Is it gonna be slippery? And this little arched bar over the top, have a look. It, it makes sure that their feet are just snugly fitted in there. So it's the perfect size and shape for these mini dolls. They don't need to be clipped in with a little foot clip like they have in other, in the cars, in the vehicles. But they're very snug in here. It is just very perfectly engineered. This is car number one and it's not sliding very nicely. So we need some of these rounded smooth pieces on the bottom. And now it's nice and smooth. Now it will slide very comfortably across the ground. And to help control it, we can put the flag on the back. There we go. Round it goes. Oh, hold on, Olivia, you've just run over Ben. You've, I don't think, I think you've lost control of the car. Quick, pick him up. Give him a pat. There we go. <laughs> he seems to be okay. But Olivia has a car, so that means that Ben needs one too. So the second bumper car. Oh, very cute. They're different colors. That's very nice. This one's yellow and pink. And it's gonna need the same design as the other one. So there we go. He's nice and snug in there with the arch over his feet. And you know what? Rather than putting the little stud on there, we could use that as a holder for the cotton candy. Or maybe not. We'll put it back over there. <laughs> but that would be cool. You really shouldn't take food on the rides. <laughs> it would get everywhere. Uh, okay, so this one's called number two. This is number two car. And we just need to take Ben out because we need to make the bottom all smooth and slippery. Excellent, a flag on the top. And they're ready. There's two of you. Watch out, Olivia. He's coming and bump. <laughs> oh, the, yay, this is very much fun. <laughs> But you can't just do it on the ground. You actually need a platform to put it on. So that's what we're going to build with bag number two. So move those bumper cars out of the way. Let's build the stage, the platform, to contain these bumper cars so they don't just drive them all over the amusement park, which you probably normally couldn't do anyway. <laughs> but you could with these ones. So we have our platform, we've got steps up to it. Some little colorful lights on the side. Olivia's standing at the top of the step so can, she can show us how high it's gonna be. And of course we need all this area to be smooth so they can slide around. Or Olivia, could I skate around as well? Very smooth, very smooth and shiny. Put your cotton candy down and you can have a bit of an ice skate while we finish. <laughs> Actually, you're gonna to need to move off there because we need to put some more smooth pieces in a cute pattern, very decorative pattern in the middle here. Woo, that's not quite as smooth because it's got some little, little edges there, but still looks great. Yay, yes, you can have so much fun. And here's the other side. There, an entirely smooth platform, which at the moment you could use for ice skating, but now we need to build up the sides so that the bumper cars don't just fly straight off the sides. Oh, turny bits, I wonder what they're going to be for. There's some little columns here. None along that side, and that's too short. There we are, now we have the railings. The railings to contain the bumper cars. And some more lights. Some carnival lights. No, 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 there's cotton candy all over the floor, it'll make it very sticky. 
Oh, cotton candy cart, I know that you want to have a go, but this is not the right place for you. We need to put a door on, so that won't happen again. Excellent, so that's the entry door, and we've got all the sides now contained, and that's where, <laughs> where everybody can come in. So there, I think that's almost done. We just need to find out what we're going to be putting on those tiny pieces. And these look just like speakers, so there's one. So do you remember the music part inside the booth, the music player? So that must control the music that goes while they're on the bumper cars. And we can have loud music blasting out through these speakers, probably so you can't hear everybody's screams when they crash into each other. <laughs> so there's bumper car number one and bumper car number two. They're all in. So you come in through the door, into here. Ben's gonna try it out too. And that's it. That's perfect. Now they're contained and they can, <laughs> they can bump around and not not get too far afield. Ah, now the cotton candy cart's in here again. <laughs> I thought those railings would keep it out, but I was wrong. Out your hop cotton candy cart. That's just silly. <laughs> All right, so the bumper cars are done. We're up to bag number three, which is the shaker. And this is cool. This is this, such great designs. I'm really enjoying these amusement park builds. to look very nice. I like the blue circle in the middle and I also like the fact that there are little flowers and green bits scattered around. It looks so pretty. More flowers over here. That's nice. All right so we need the structure up the side and of course we need some lights on the top because it's the amusement park. Need to click it on with our blue slopey piece and now we've got some of these technique pieces which are going to enable it to move. So it's very important that I put these in sticking out the right sides or the correct sides, otherwise it's not gonna work. I have discovered this in the past a lot. <laughs> so I need to pay careful attention. But here's the actual carriage for the shaker. Oh, these are tight. They're very tightly machined to get in there. They fit in so perfectly. I love Lego. It always fits perfectly. And there, all those little black spots are going to get a nice pattern of lights along them. Green, pink, green, pink, green, pink. And green, pink, green, pink, green, pink, green, pink. There. Very, very nice. Some pink strips along the top. And now we need the spot where they can actually sit. There are some little hooks there. There, there's their little feet spots. So there's a place there for three Lego dolls. And oh, actually, well, they'd get a bit snug if they sat right next to each other. And the safety bar, excellent. That will have them strapped in there, which they're gonna need because this thing goes upside down and twirls. <laughs> it's very cool and it'll probably make them very sick <laughs> depending upon how their stomachs handle this sort of thing. Now we need the part that is going to actually attach it to our side structures and it also needs to be able to twirl. Have I put that on the right side? I think I have. I will find out very soon whether it does or doesn't work. And there are cogs. I love cogs. Cogs mean that it's going to be moving by us turning something. Sounds logical, doesn't it? We need to make sure the little grooves there, the little teeth fit into each other so they connect in, they interconnect. <laughs> and the third cog along here, they're all held nice and tightly on. Oh, and number four, all the way down, this is going to give us some pretty good control of the turning mechanism. So, what are we doing next? We have a rod out here which is going to extend into the middle. Is this for turning it? Nope, that's nice and steady. 
All right, so it actually, oh, all right. So we connect this part down here and when we put it up here, then it's connect, hold on, they're not sitting straight. They're sitting on a tilt. Maybe I put this on the wrong angle. No, that's not right. Uh, let me check again. What have I done? No, they're still there. They're sitting backwards when they're at the bottom. I've done something wrong. Hmm. Maybe it's supposed to go on the other way around. No, that's not right. That's not right. The picture tells me that it should be this way. Oh, I think I just need to move the teeth on some of these cogs. Let me see. Let's line it up and then put it in. There we go. It was as simple as that. <laughs> All right, good. Now they're working. That's very good. Now we need the part of the other side of the structure so they're not hanging free on one side because ultimately it is all going to fall down if this is not nice and safely secured. So let's make sure it is. No accidents at the Heart Lake Amusement Park, please. So this goes in down the bottom and this connects to the rod at the top and there. Now we've got our other upright on the other side, another A-frame and some more lights. And now we just need a knob on the side to turn it. There, now check this out. They spin around as it goes. So they actually spin internally inside it. Not like a swing. Woo, well, like a swing. Oh my gosh, they're gonna get giddy and sick. Ah, see, look at that, see? Spin, spin, they're actually twisting and then it goes up and over. Spin, spin. Oh, <laughs> that's brilliant. <laughs> How are you feeling? How are you feeling, Olivia and Ben? Are you okay? You know what? I didn't have this clicked on down here, so that was not safe. Now we're safe. Good. <laughs> Brilliant. Now that's the whole build. So let's take these guys to the amusement park. Here we go. Olivia is at the bumper car ticket booth. She has a hundred dollar note, so she can basically buy these bumper cars. <laughs> but she's going to buy lots and lots of rides, which is good because I think it's only Ben and Olivia here at the amusement park so they can go all out. Ben is very gentlemanly opening the door up for her and she is taking car number one, of course. And well, Ben's gonna hop in number two. And if he's in here, who's controlling them? Who's in the control booth? Maybe he has a remote control. <laughs> Whatever's happening, they seem to be working. They're going bump, bump, bump everywhere. <laughs> oh, that's so much fun. Bump, 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 bump. <laughs> Watch out for your next, guys. Wow, that was great fun. Ben is so excited he's stood up. Oh, but it hasn't turned off yet. Watch, oh no, that was not safe. Poor Ben. Oh, he seems to be all right though. Oh, he can have some fairy floss to cheer him up. I think they both look pretty happy. And I can see in the background the shaker ride. All right, everyone on the shaker ride with your fairy floss. I don't know that that's a very good idea. You don't take food on the rides. And that's why it gets everywhere. Fairy floss all over faces. <laughs> so silly. Well, they've got the amusement park all to themselves, so they're back over here. More fairy floss, more bumper car rides. Have a great time, guys. <laughs> we'll see them again later, but in the meantime, don't forget to subscribe and click like. Check out some of my other silly videos, and I'm going to see you for another one really very, very soon.